Ladies and gentlemen, if anyone tells you that high gas prices and inflation aren't the fault of President Exhumed Body, they're either lying or ignorant. And I'm going to give you two articles that will absolutely refute the claim that, well, inflation is taking place globally. High energy costs are a global issue. Biden pauses new oil and gas leases amid legal battle over cost of climate change. February 24th, 2022. What happened on February 22nd, 2022? Okay. Um, one of the worst geopolitical nightmares in European history, recent European history, took place. Immediately, shortly after after doubling the amount of crude oil imports from the invading country. We'll just try to be as YouTube-friendly as possible. Biden then said, oh, well, we're going to ban imports of 7% uh, 7 of, of U.S. oil imports. We're going to ban them. But but before all of this, so so right after... The European, the European crisis, the crisis in Europe. Okay, right two days after, two days after, he paused new oil and gas leases. But here, check this out. The article is is on February 24, 2022. The leasing pause is an unintended result of the February 11th decision by U.S. District Judge James Kane who argue that the administration's attempt to raise the real cost of climate change would hike energy costs. So, you have one dis U.S. district judge stating Biden's energy plan, or his his battle to combat, his, com his decision to combat climate change would hike energy costs. It's a one of many decisions President Mashed Potato Brain has made. And it's within it's within the, the February 24, 2022 CNBC article, Biden pauses new oil and gas leases amid legal battle over costs of climate change. Their misguided attempt at combating climate change. I mean, you have a situation where John Kerry even stated, and this is kind of, this is kind of, I'm getting lost in the weeds here, but um, John Kerry said uh, zero emissions wouldn't make a difference in climate change, okay? New York Post, Kerry admits zero emissions in U.S. wouldn't make a dif wouldn't make difference in climate change, okay? Newsweek, John Kerry says U.S. China could go to zero emissions and, and still not solve climate crisis, okay? So why, and it's an important issue, but why go ahead and immediately try to address saving the planet, which, and, and you don't know, like even Kerry said, the US and China could go to zero emissions and it still wouldn't solve anything. But you've just pushed to end economic activity for a year and a half and Democrats, media, unelected officials, the smartest people in the room, push to end economic activity. Again, I'm trying to be as YouTube-friendly as possible. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Then you immediately combat climate change. That's what caused the inflation. That's what caused the high energy costs. And it's right here. The leasing pause is an unintended result of the February 11th decision by U.S. District Judge James Cain, who argued that the administration's attempt to raise the real cost of climate change would hike energy costs. The ruling has prompted delays and uncertainty across at least four federal agencies that were using higher cost estimates of greenhouse gas emissions in decisions. U.S. District Judge James Cain was 100% right. Then there's another judge. Judge blocks Biden administration's new leasing moratorium. This was in June of, of June 16th of 2021. A federal judge in Louisiana has granted a preliminary injunction against the Biden administration's suspension of oil and gas leases on federal land and waters. So they initially tried to um, suspend the oil and gas leases. Then they put a pause in February of this year. But listen to what this judge says. 
So a federal judge in Louisiana has granted a preliminary injunction against the Biden administration's suspension of New Orleans gas leases on federal land and waters. According to a report uh, from the Associated Press, U.S. District District Judge Terry uh, uh, Doty's ruling came in a a lawsuit filed in March by Louisiana Republican Attorney General Jeff Landry and officials in 12 other states. Okay? 12 other states. And do you want to know what he said in his ruling? What he stated was millions and possibly billions of dollars are at stake. Uh, Wrote Dottie, Dottie, uh, who was nominated. Okay, so millions and possibly billions of dollars Dottie sided with the plaintiff's uh, state's attorneys who argued that the delay of new leasing cost states revenues, cost states revenue from rents and royalties. So states were losing money. Millions and possibly billions of dollars were at stake. Okay. And 12, uh, 12 states sued, in addition to Louisiana, 12 states sued states sued his administration and you have two judges two judges a federal a federal judge two federal judges talking about how this is going to hurt uh the economy the article I'll put the article below. It's be, it'll be below the the information on Bitcoin and my article that I wrote predicting this economic catastrophe we're facing. I predicted a devastating stock market crash. We're going to see that below. Hit subscribe to this channel, by the way. And we're almost at 195. We'll get to 200,000 very soon. But hit subscribe. You can use this. You can show these two articles below to refute any of the nonsense from people. His policies, and this these are just this was just one of his horrible, horribly failed policies of suspending oil and gas leases. Now, when I was on the left, I used to be the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post. I used the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. I didn't care about any of this stuff. I didn't realize when you're on the left, you don't realize how combating climate change will lead to high gas costs, high high greater energy costs, gas prices going through the roof, inflation, which is a tax, which is essentially a tax on working class people, poor people, uh, you know, people struggling every day, most Americans, most Americans. And so you don't think about those things. All you think about is economic justice and this type of justice and that type of justice and all the policies that Democrats push exacerbate all the problems they claim to want to solve. But Judge Block's Biden administration's new leasing moratorium, this is Offshore Magazine, you had two, two, two judges, there might have been more, there probably were more, but two judges that we can, we can point to that said, okay, millions upon millions and billions, millions and possibly billions and possibly millions of dollars or millions and possibly billions of dollars are at stake. And... It's right here. The leasing pause is an unintended result of the February 11th decision by U.S. District Judge who argued that the administration's attempt to raise the real cost of climate change would hike energy costs. Now, what they wanted to do is make oil and gas companies pay seven times the price for for carbon uh, 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 emissions. Seven times the price as what Trump the Trump administration had uh, the number that the, tr- the Trump administration had been utilizing. But see, again, even John Kerry says, yeah, that's not, that wouldn't make, even if, if the U.S. and China went to zero emissions, it wouldn't make a dent. But you're talking about, see, this is the thing, you're talking about a religion. I'm not saying that you shouldn't address climate change. You should. It's an important issue. I think that eventually it's, an, it's a very important issue for the planet, of course, but you don't do so after you've pushed to end economic activity and pumped $10 trillion into the economy. And then all your pos- policies are anti-business and, and pro-envi- well, I- initially pro-environmental groups or climate change activists. And then you 
do an about face and jettison all of that immediately after you realize that oil and gas are geopolitical issues. Because Russia, like two days after they invaded Ukraine, Biden pauses new oil and gas leases yet again. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. There are legal battles right now between oil and gas associations and, 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 and southern states against Biden or oil producing states against Biden with, with two judges have actually stated his policies directly lead to inflation and high uh, energy costs. And then you still have people like, well, it's not his fault. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you.